Her name is Sadie. I mean, I know this sounds crazy, but I think she might be the one. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best romantic comedies of 2023. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. This dumps me. Honestly, I'm not sure which is worse. Make sure Zach takes it easy. His symptoms could get worse. What do I do? You don't want him getting worse. Pretend to be the other. At number 10 we have, The Other Zoe, is a rom-com movie about Zoe Miller, a college student who does not believe in romantic love. She pretends to be the girlfriend of Zach McLaren, a soccer star who has amnesia and confuses her with his real girlfriend, who is also named Zoe. Zoe hopes to get close to Zach's cousin Miles, who shares her views on love, but things get complicated when she realizes that Miles is polyamorous and that she has feelings for Zach. A good match, like we are. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> The movie is a hilarious and heartwarming story of how Zoe learns to embrace love in all its forms. Your place or mine? You should see what you and I could be. This is a minor setback, right? All you have to do is take a chance. I don't take chances. At number nine we have, Your place or mine, is about two long distance best friends, Debbie and Peter, who swap houses for a week. Debbie goes to New York to pursue her dream of becoming an accountant, while Peter stays in Los Angeles to take care of her teenage son. Along the way, they discover new aspects of themselves and each other, and realize that they might be more than just friends. I found myself thinking about her. You have to tell her. It's too late. Your Place or Mine is a romantic comedy film written and directed by Aline Brosh McKenna. Starring Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher. Red, white, and royal blue. Dear Alex, I miss you. That's what I really want. Good morning. At number eight we have Red, White, and Royal Blue. Revolves around the developing love affair between Alex Claremont Diaz, the son of the first female president of the United States, and Prince Henry, a British royal. Their long-standing rivalry takes an unexpected turn during a royal wedding, resulting in a physical altercation. To manage the press fallout, they are forced into staged interviews and public appearances, pretending to be friends. Do something wrong? Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. As secrets unravel, their banner evolves into something deeper. This story beautifully explores love, family, and the complexities of privacy in the spotlight. Happiness for beginners. Oh! You like some coffee, Alan? My name is Helen with an H. Really? With an H, Helen. <laughs> I'm Hugh. I'm old enough not to discuss my age. At number seven we have, happiness for beginners. Plot revolves around Helen, a recently divorced woman feeling lost. Always playing it safe, she decides she needs a reset. Helen signs up for an adventure in the backcountry, an Appalachian Trail survivalist course. During the course, she meets Jake, a friend of her younger brother. As they navigate the wilderness, their interactions lead to unexpected connections, healing, and perhaps even love. Let's gather around. Should we expect to see a bear around here? I'd say expect anything. What about large stray dogs? That is very unlikely. It's a delightful exploration of second chances and the magic of stepping out of one's comfort zone. Somebody I used to know. This has gone way too far. I know. I don't know what to do anymore. At number six we have, Somebody I Used to Know is about a lie. The showrunner of a successful but waning reality TV series called Desert Island. After filming the season's final episode, she learns that the show will be cancelled. With no social life outside work, Eli decides to take a break and visit her mother in Leavenworth, Washington. There, she runs into an ex-by friend, Sean. They spend the night drinking together, and a kiss leads to awkwardness. I mean, we can just call him Sean. Hi, you're still here. Later. Eli discovers that Sean is getting married that weekend, and his family is throwing a party. It's a delightful exploration of second chances and the magic of reconnecting with someone from the past. 
gonna be I'm her name is Sadie I'm next to you I mean I know this sounds crazy but I think she might be the one yeah, I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the at number five we have ghosted Cole a farmer and history buff has trouble with intense relationships he goes on a date with Sadie but she disappears he learns she's in London and decides to surprise her not realizing it's a bit creepy in London, he's kidnapped and caught up in a strange plot with a torturer and murder hornets. Jews, they kept asking me about the tax man. They asked you about the tax man? They think I am a tax man. You're the tax man. A surprise twist reveals Sadie as a CIA agent chasing a criminal. Cole becomes a target and joins her in an adventure with lots of action. What's love got to do with it? I used to think that I was scared of being with the wrong person, but now I realize that I'm scared of being with the right person. At number four we have, What's Love Got To Do With It? is a cross-cultural romantic comedy that tells the story of filmmaker Zoe, played by Lily James. Zoe decides to document her best friend Kazim's, played by Shazad Ladif, journey toward an arranged marriage. The movie offers a fresh perspective into the concept of arranged marriages and delves into life's greatest mystery, love. Set between London and Lahore, the film follows Zoe as she accompanies cast to Pakistan for the traditional wedding. I'm getting an arranged marriage. Quite assisted marriage. That's what we call it these days. Dare I ask, what about love? You grow to love the person you're with. What, like Stockholm Syndrome? Along the way, she learns more about Pakistani culture, traditions, and whether love can truly blossom in an arranged union. Love in Taipei. Now, it's part of me. At number three we have, Love in Taipei is based on Abigail Hing Wen's 2020 novel Love Boat Taipei. It follows the young American Ever Wong, whose summer takes an unexpected turn when her parents surprise her with a trip to Taipei for a cultural immersion program. However, Ever is surprised to discover that she hasn't signed up for homework and history lessons. Instead, she's in for a summer long free for all that the locals and other students call a boat. Yeah. The film beautifully explores love, adventure, and self discovery in the vibrant city of Taipei. No hard feelings. Here. Don't Let's touch me. Get away from her. Stay. <laughs> oh, sh oh, fuck. At number two, we have No Hard Feelings, a coming of age comedy set in Montauk, New York. The story centers on Maddie, an Uber driver facing financial trouble after a car is repossessed. She takes up an unusual Craigslist offer from Percy's concerned parents. Percy is a 19-year-old introvert who needs dating experience to transition into adulthood. Hostage. What you got down there? Something for me? <laughs> Why? In exchange for a Buick Regal, Maddie agrees to pose as Percy's girlfriend and help him navigate the world of adult relationships. Ryan Lane. Let's see what happens. Just go where the breeze takes you. At number one we have, Rai Lane. It stars David Johnson and Vivian Opara as two strangers who have a chance encounter after recent breakups. They spend the day getting to know each other, bonding over shared connections. Dom, cheated on by his girlfriend, meets with her and his best friend at a restaurant, with Yas posing as his new lover. They embark on misadventures, including breaking into Jules's flat to retrieve Yas's record. Just so like 15 of these together to get the pants I'm wearing right now. The worst part, I left my favorite record at his place. Let's go find a record shop right now and I'll buy you a new copy. The film beautifully explores second chances and the magic of unexpected connections in South London. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.